foreign country in the highest learning of the language, maintaining and sometimes even making friends has been a challenging task in my life. I will always remember all the first days of school, crying in my mother's arms, begging her to take me back home, being too shy to talk to anyone, just trying to bring the least amount of attention to myself. Believe it or not, this was never the worst part of moving. Because even if sometimes it took a while, I was always able to make friends. Everywhere I went, I was able to connect with people through athletics. I always became really close with some friends, and they all had a very special place in my life. But this didn't last forever, and we would one day have to move all over again. Saying goodbye to my friends, though I'd probably never see them again, was devastating. Through all the moving, my parents always supported me, but they couldn't be the best friend that I needed. Lucky for me, that person was Leah. Some of you in this room may remember my sister from her period at Santa College. But if you don't, let me paint you a brief picture. Leah is the nicest, most loyal person I know. I can rely on her to drop everything if I'm ever in need. Coming back to my story, this was exactly the kind of person I desperately needed in my life. We supported each other through thick and thin over the span of countless years of constant change. What I'm trying to say is that friends are temporary and family is forever. I'm not saying that having friends is wrong. I'm just saying that friends will always be there for you 100% of the time. Family will. Being a poor ex in college means that we live away from family most of the year. While most of us have a very busy life here on campus, I urge you to maintain a good relationship with your family. I urge that you find free time to call your parents, brother, or sister at least once a day so you can feel like you're a part of their life and they can feel like they're part of yours. There's one thing I would like for everyone in this room to join me in. I hope everyone can take some time today to call a family member and let them know what they need to do. A simple thank you for everything you do, or a simple I love you can go such a long way. Here, let me show you guys how to do